Hello everybody, welcome back to Doggo Card Reviews. We are here with our last but not least part 4 of our Rent a Girlfriend review. Alrighty guys, we're, hit, we're here to hit Kanokari Blue. I think it's mostly Ruka cards, I, so... I, I think it's only Ruka cards. Holy crap, okay, let's get into it boys. Yep. We have... Bouldering Gate Ruka 001500. If you have another Rent a Girlfriend character, she gets... 1500 power, and she's also a clean cut. You what? You what, indeed. Okay, 3000 power and toughness, and a clean cut. What? That, that's already too good, TBH. You know, if we add a plus one level to this... Oh yeah, it becomes too close to that card, but at least that card did say you needed two or more other characters. True, this power creeps each cut. What the fuck, Bushy? Right, but we're also comparing a, a Premier card and a Premier Booster versus a Trial Deck card, so... That card should that card should have never been a Trial Deck card to begin with. Right, you know it, it should have been a Vanilla 2-5. That with the Queen cool. cut. And in, in, limit, uh, in limited... Auto take? <laughs> uh, I unless you speak goddamn SEC. But, like, outside of, like, that French situation, uh, it's just easily a playable plus, come on. Yeah, I was about to say, man, give this the sparkle doge. What? <laughs> Anyone with half a brain should know. Should should know. Take you. You play this. Right. All right. Now that we we got that one out of the way. <laughs> what an adult is. Nuka one zero four five. If you have two or more others, this becomes a fifty five hundred. Yay, vanillas! When this card attacks, if you have I'm ready, the the pants icon that you see up up. Up at the top, and you have another. If you have another rental girlfriend character, oh my god, that is so hard! Isn't that difficult, man? Yeah, it's pretty difficult, KBH. You may pay the cost of pitching a card from your hand if you do. Dig, dig, dig the top four and take two guys among them and add them to hand, and mill the rest. Okay, uh, so uh, I, I like how you kind of combine like two aspects of two different cards here. This is Mashu combo, if you looked at- if Yeah, so so it's like Mashu from uh, FGO, which I was going to say, like, kind of reminds me of, like, combining, combining two different cards. Like, um, you know, it combines, like, the whole, like, Maguro with the idea of hand filtering from these cards, so I say Yuki from way back when in SAO. <laughs> Without the stock costs. <laughs> my biggest problem with this? Yo, dog, I only get four cards to pick from. Right, that, that definitely could be a problem for obvious reasons. Now, while Maguro is very limited selection, this is even more limited. Mm hmm. At least this allows me to pitch anything. Right, unlike those, unlike, say, Kizuru. Oh, God, don't remind me of Chorizo Combo. <laughs> this is better than Chorizo Combo, I'll give it that much. Right. It's much better than Chorizo Combo. Right. At least this one doesn't need to reverse. Right, this doesn't need to reverse. This, So this is the same card advantage as Chorizo Combo. This is the same amount of card advantage you're gaining. Right, just just far less precise. <laughs> and people will say, gate, gate trigger better than pants trigger. I'm like, you know what? It it really depends on what your goal is. Like, Like, personally... Personally, I'm just like, eh, I could do with either. I could do with either, actually. I really yeah. like both triggers. Yeah, you can never go wrong. Now, uh, mostly because Pitts has that soul icon on it. And it allows me to re it allows me to repeat the combo if Nuka happens to live. Right. Unfortunately, there's not a good chance that she's going to live. She's only a vanilla. Right. In terms of toughness, but she isn't terrible. But at the same time, why would I play this when Sumi exists? Right. Sure, I go stock positive on this. Like, if I had to rate the level 1 combos in this deck, I'd go... Sumi, Nuka, Chorizo. Action on O. Anything else, Chorizo. Anything else, Chorizo. True. <laughs> Anything else, Chorizo. So, wait, wait. You even got level 1 Sumi combo. At least that, at least that compresses me, man. You right. <laughs> At least that compresses me. Gog him. 
and also pre-battle compression. Pre-battle selective compression. Oh, 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 awesome. Was it like there, there was a mommy combo that was like at level zero, if I remember correctly? No, it's it's literally Maguro that we can do for the back row. Oh right, 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 right. I'm getting I'm getting my something else entirely. Okay. It's literally nope, nope, nope. Yeah. So so that. Actually, no, actually, I'd rather play these. I actually, I'd rather play the mommy combo than this. Because at least you could be she could go from back row. I don't even have to fucking attack for card advantage, boys. Hmm. All right. Now in limited. Oh, uh, this could be hard to get. This, I bet this is the fucking CR, man. This should I be the. This, this should be the CR. CR. Ugh. So yeah, uh, good luck. We'll just say that much. It limited old. Um, Godspeed, sir. You're gonna need it. Yeah. So I think overall, I think I had to give it a playable minus. What would I give Mashu combo? What would I seriously give Mashu combo like? I I could maybe Kiger. I'm kind of Kigering on playable, but at the same time. <sighs> I'm gonna be harsh, niche. Niche, okay, that's fair enough. I'm gonna be harsh because in constructed, why would I play this when Sumi is a dollar? This is seven. Right. Like, or why would I just play mommy combo? Mm -hmm. That now, my, my some people might be like, it's on a bounce trigger. Ew. I don't give a flying fuck what trigger it's on. And it's bounce triggers shot. are hey. The more standby there is, the better bounce trigger is. Hell, I'd rather I play it even if it was on goddamn shot. I'd rather play that over this. Like, 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 mommy, I could do from fucking back row and put real creatures in front row. Facts. <laughs> so, so you you better so take back what you said about bounce trigger, man. About trigger, oh, but I think I think people propagate against bounce triggers because they're like. We don't want our standbys to be ruined, so we just say bounce triggers are bad. Oh, I'm like, this, this, this psychology. I'm just like, what is this? What is this, 1984 fucking psychology? No. You really had reference that novel? Huh? You really had, you really had reference to 1984 novel? Yes, by George Orwell. <laughs> you mother... <laughs> oh, at, at the same time, I'm not surprised you do it that way. Oh, come on, dude. It, it, it's like Soviet fucking propaganda, man. I know. It's like Soviet level propaganda. It, it, and I'm just going, bounce triggers are, oh, bounce triggers are fucking amazing. We, we, uh, like when we cover the, like, spoiler alert, we will be doing a scrap bull on fucking triggers and, oh boy. Uh, oh boy, we'll just be the comments. <laughs> All right. In fact, my only comment is not this worn out shoe, it is oh boy. It is oh boy. Okay. Up, oh, let's okay, continue, yes. Just a little more. One one event. If you have one or fewer characters with Ruka in your card games, oh my goodness, that's pretty difficult, TBH. You can't play this card yeah. from your hand. Put the top card of your deck to your clock. Deal 79 damage to your opponent. Search your deck for up to two cards name. What an adult is Ruka, the card match combo we were just mentioned before. Put them in separate spots on your stage, shuffle your deck, and those characters get power plus 1000 and 1 soul until the end of the turn. Damage cancel may occur and will occur. Okay, so, um... Yo, dog, this funny meme... Funny meme, automatically. I'm just gonna go- I'm just gonna go with funny meme automatically, I mean- Alright, so, 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 before I give it- before I give it a rating, I do need to- I do need to, I, I, I'm gonna go like a little swipe- swipe flavor tangent. The 79, I looked it up- I looked up why I had a 79. So, apparently Ruka here wants her heart rate to accelerate by being hugged by Kazuya. She's like, oh. no, my- my heart rate's only at- my heart rate's only at 79 BPM right now, that's not enough. <laughs> That's kind of low, honestly. If you, I remember correctly. You're... Low... Like, low when you're like doing physical activity, sure. But... Resting heart rate? Uh... I wish we have something like... 30 to 50... No, 30 to 40 BPM if you're like hardcore athletes at rest. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so it, I'm thinking something else. You're probably thinking, uh, diastolic blood pressure. 
That's what I'm thinking, yeah. Um, and man, my mind's not exactly in the best of, sh <laughs> best of shape these days. For sure. So, yeah, guys, that's the, so, so that's the reason why it's, it's 79 for for the deal damage. <laughs> And uh, yes, I'm giving it a meme uh, for multiple reasons. Like, you know, the, the flavor and you get to uh, summing out two of keys at, at uh, plus one soul. Hey, hey man, if your opponent's out of climax, this is an instant kill. Your opponent's out of climax is how in your standard? You right. <laughs> I, I was gonna be like. Gavin, are, 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 are we are we saying mean because you you wanna you wanna actually try doing this in standard? No, no, this would be hilarious in standard though. <laughs> oh come on, man! Imagine the instant KO in standard. KO seven king, I unironically. Just play a few garbage Lucas. No, 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 no. G g the 79 kills him before you even you know yeah you actually resolve the 79 damage before you can summon your Rukas. No, dude, I didn't have Ruka on the board, remember? You have Rukas on the board first, and you have two Rukas on the board, and then you play this, clock yourself, attempt, you have to wait for all 79 to resolve before you can summon out Rukas. <laughs> but they're dead already. So you want something out, you want something out more Ruka. True, because they're dead. <laughs> Forehead. But this is a gigantic meme, and we know it. That's true. Yeah, all she right, says she does right there. How could she take who that's like? I have finally met you, Duka. Zero zero two five. Is this a literal drop search for the event? Correct. Oh, I forgot F the power. Four? I forgot about the power plus two thousand. Oh, okay. So let's start. Wait, we didn't even talk about the event in limited. Uh, no, no because you're probably going, not going to find over uh one copy of the target. Uh, two thousand, sir. Yeah, you're right. This mic. Oh. Uh... Uh, this event, this event constructed. Only if you're really playing the event. Does this even do anything? Do we just get all of me because it interacts with the event? Yes. <laughs> like any meme support? Uh, uh, oh yeah, meme and meme support? Meme. Oh, true. Alright, next. Yep, yep. Even if it's a trial, Ruka, 001k. This ability aggregates up to once per turn. When you use Accelerate, you may draw one card. If you do, discard one card from your hand. And she is a self tap search brainstorm. Yo, dog, I heard you like pain. Right, so I, I, we haven't seen them yet, people, but we will see a bunch of Ruka cards that accelerate because, again, it's in her character to want her heart rate to be accelerated by hugs from Kazuyo. <laughs> so, at least I, 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 I it's flavorful. <laughs> Cast, at least in the anime, she's the only one that truly loves Kazuya. Yeah, she 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 legit feels warm around around him. In fact, uh, spoiler alert for anyone who hasn't seen the anime, Ruka takes the, takes the guy to a fucking love hotel. I feel we may. I I feel that I feel I want to say that we see that in one of those cards. And she's like. She's like, oh, um, oh, you need a wife to take back to your grandma? I'll be your wife. Like, FR. <laughs> Yo, dog, the Tassel tutoring brainstorm. If every if everything in Sumi wasn't su wasn't locked to that damn brainstorm, I'd choose this. Just True. for the product alone. Right. But Sumi, Sumi, Sumi Engine, pretty dope. Yeah, Sumi Engine way too fucking good. Uh, and and, and, and we make it. Why not? It's a brainstorm. It's also, also it's, it's, it's also right? lower rarity than the Sumi one. And also, you have no excuse to take that piece of shit chorizo brainstorm now. Cause that's also a rare. <laughs> yep. But heaven forbid you open up that as your rare over this. Fog, you got screwed. <laughs> <laughs> you got screwed. So overall, uh, I I I argue plain playable. Yeah, playable, definitely. And the accelerate draw ditch ain't half bad, actually. Wait, we, we will find some accelerate cards that are pretty nifty. Wait, are they trying to make accelerate playable? So it seems. God damn it! If I'm taking damage, it better be fucking. <laughs> All right, next. You're cheating, Nuka. 
By the way, I think she's referring to you're cheating on me. 1045. If you have two or more other rentals, this gains a thousand power and the following ability. This card attacks. It, its battle opponent is level two. This card gains six thousand power. So, bruh. 11, 11 bruh. 5, uh, Beastate level two. Let's go. They're, they're weakening level two killers. FR. The first I ones we've seen were like, you could go to like 12k or 12.5k even. Yeah. Oof. So I'm just like, FR? Oh, I, I think I think, I think think know why. It's the static, I'm a vanilla on your turn. Right, that might be why. Yeah, that makes, oh, but, yeah, that's unfortunate. And I'm just like, FR? Because most of these be like 4k, 4500. That didn't gain a thousand. In fact, I would prefer the get rid of the static thousand. You give me two K on the offense, because mm. dude, there's no big difference between like what's the difference between a vanilla and a four K on the defense? Basically zero. Mm. <laughs> Unless you have massive support like Brigand Knights. But still, like even like I've seen a lot of people make the argument. Well, Brigand Knight Kirito is defendable. Like, like the the like the Kirito combo in the cell with Spriggan Knight's defendable. I'm like, barely. Spriggan Knight reaches 8k after camp. Like, Spriggan Knight. I mean, the goddamn combo reaches 8k after. Twilight, Twilight of Innocence, or Innocence. Right. Of, sorry, Innocence of Twilight. Innocence of Twilight. I, I just call it Kirito combo because. He's smacked up right in the middle of the fucking card, dude. Curse my five people on that card. You think my brain can remember Innocence, Innocence of Twilight? I got used to it. Man, man, this guy. This guy. <laughs> oh, shit. But, can I like, stop like, calling it Kirito? Because it's not Kirito. Anyway. I mean, I mean, it's like me calling your boy Kirito. Okay, that, that's a different reason. <laughs> Same voice actor. Yeah. <laughs> It's your boy. Oh, by the way, your boy. Your boy makes some moves in season two. Your boy makes some moves. He wasn't. Like he your... was. He wasn't already making them in season one. <laughs> no, no, no. You you gonna like your boy even more? Oh, let's, oh, oh, let's go. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Um, Bushy Fr, what are you doing? Hmm. Like, no, I, like I, 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 I cannot oof this car. That's for sure. Give it the fucking niche. Uh, I'm gonna be mean because I'm like, come FR? FR? Oh! Okay, okay. and, and then maybe uh, there are level 2s to go after? What level 2s? Yeah, overall, guys. Like, okay. Some people could argue, some people could argue, what about the Mommy Unlimited? What Mommy Unlimited? If you're talking about the 2-2, two -two, there are no trial decks unlimited. Yeah, what the, what the heck are y'all doing? <laughs> y'all cracking open trial decks unlimited. <laughs> Limited is from the booster only, man. Exactly. And there, are no, there are no good two twos to destroy unlimited. Or or two ones even. Uh, I can't think of it. Well, uh, they'll be like, I played the vanilla two one combo. You have fun with that, sir. Be, be, and 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 enjoy your weird teaser rule deck. <laughs> exactly. Good uh, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, Teresa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right yes. What should I do, Ruka? I will agree to cost 9,000 power. If you have two or three requirements in your way room, she gets roll minus one in your hand. Uh, on play, uh, draw one, discard one, and bounce one up to one of your opponent's characters. And I can begin with your opponent's attack phase. You may pay a cost to the accelerate, pay one, put one regular girlfriend character from your way room to the bottom of your cook. If you do, Choose one of your opponent's characters and gets soul minus two until the end of the turn. Does this card remind you of a certain blonde Russian? Oh, it does, definitely. I was like, wait a second. I recognize this card from. Wait, didn't our also our blonde Russian girl grow? She grew. I think she got like another like uh, 2k or something. Oh, okay. So yeah, Ru Ruka doesn't grow because she has to um, play. Uh, draw a ditch bounce. Hey, that's also pretty nifty, dude. That's also pretty nifty. Yeah. I like that, actually. I, I, I think its design works pretty well. Like, I, at least it doesn't... Like, heaven forbid, this says heal. <laughs> oh, 
No? Pulse, no? We don't need any more of those? But to be fair, I guess this thing's trying to finish the opponent off, it's just more of stalling them out. So... This card also makes... This card also makes me sad. Because of a certain preview of a certain devil set. Potentially devilish set. Right, it's, like, it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate re 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 reviewing this card now versus like some weeks ago. Or, like, or even last fucking week, man. Like, yeah, literally a week ago last week for some reason. Like, fr bushy, eleven k, the same ability. I didn't have to hit myself. What are you doing? Who's even on that? What creature is even blood on that bloody card? Shizuku. Shizuku? Oh, okay. Yeah, I was about to say, Shizuku just, like, outclasses cards like this, but at the same time, I can't be 100% mad because... <laughs> Excuse me. At the same time, Yuka does have her advantages over Shizuku. Mm-hmm. Like, it's mostly that draw one, dis discard one, bounce. Yeah. But, oh, man. Shizuku does the minus two for free? Ooh, that's really appealing, man. Really appealing. Mm hmm But I shouldn't let Shizuku Shizuku influence my rating of Buka here. I no, 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 no. Because oh oh boy. Be prepared for re power creep! What are you doing, Bushy? That's just a little bit of a pre the tyrant the tyrating preview of Niji Kasaki. Oh crap, and Shizuku's in yellow is already starting off. <laughs> oh, 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 oh boy. <laughs> Fuck. Eh, 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 man, that Kanata creature. That Kanata creature. Okay, at least I can come up and kill Boo, so we, we have time. Bro, but what in the actual fuck? <laughs> what? No. There's, there's chances that Wreck will have his own tyrants at this rate. This, that's, that's Setsuna creature. Because that's Setsuna creature. <laughs> fucking A. From I'm... fucking back row? <laughs> Unironically. <laughs> What are you no? Hey, okay, Ni <laughs> Nichigasaki aside. Okay, let let me get let me get for Ruko. Why not? Yes, yes. Now Nuka, guess what? Nuka can also do her trick from back row. Oh uh, yeah, yes she can. Unironically, I can do it from back row, guys. Right, wait, wait. wait you always win with her. That's fine. Oh, we bring it back. Okay, beginning of uh, your attack phase, game one. Oh. How about, how about minus two that column? Oh, I have another room come back? Sure, I'll take another damage. Minus two that column. You aren't hitting me this turn, sir. Enjoy. Well, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck. Hey, man, but you're putting me like, you took two damage guaranteed in response. That's fine. Stonks. <laughs> <laughs> That's minus one damage, man. <laughs> I, 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 I take that trade deal. I mean, though, you also have to pay stock. And Duka does cost two already, so. Right, but you're doing it for, but you know, a, a small you're price, a small price to pay for your survival. I was gonna say you're doing it to live. <laughs> um, playable. Yeah, I I I agree. Pretty so I playable, you can't go wrong. Yeah, let's say Nijigasaki tirades aside. Oh that oh that set's gonna make me fucking steam. Alrighty, well let's truck along here. True. Uh, Nuka. 3 2 10k. You know, I want to eat that fucking crate. This is Climax Combo. This ability activates up to once per turn. At, at the end of this card's attack, close step? The fuck is close step? If you have Rumbling Heartbeat, the pants trigger above, and you have two or more other rental girlfriend characters. Oh my god, they doubled it? That's so hard, man! I know, right, man? My, my one yeah. other character? Man, come on, Bushy Road. If you do, you may perform one of the, uh, the following actions. Stand this card, or salvage three and shuffle your grave back into your deck. What? Oh, baby. Oh, baby is right. Oh, um, uh, well, well, no. Actual Palco, we see Kazuya on a card for once. <laughs> Kazuya who? No, 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 the climax, it's, it's not Kazuya. No, that is definitely Kazuya. 
I was making the joke of who's this Kazu you speak oh, of. Oh, don't, don't be like that. Actually, no, Kazu is actually a decent MC code, actually. He's not your boy, but hot damn. He's better than balls. Balls. <laughs> I'm doing that much. Okay. Can, can be fair, is, is that really hard to beat? No. No, balls is pretty shitty. Balls is really easy to beat. Um, That's not a competition, man. No, it's not. And, you know what's hilarious? Hello, welcome to the alternate finisher. Uh, I would play this over beat. Yeah, like, okay, first of all, you know, we can just talk about like, some quick design things here. So... Okay, you can either choose, like, I, I, I like that it can, she can either push you or she could increase your survival. I, I like that modularity. Right, so Not, right. not it, both on one card. Oh god, no. I, I'm, oh, I'm glad, I'm glad oh, this was better designed. And it's also missing some crucial text that we're, that we're both, I think, quite happy to see, see gone. Right, I, I think it's okay to just have this be, like, vanilla on play, but then on a climax, do one of two things. You can either power a smile for ch for cheap, actually. That is really cheap for power a smile. Yeah, just two stock. Like, no, what's even funny is that you could you could like crack W with this thing. You could still do the restart. Uh, unless they kick you to exile. Yeah, but that that like really happens, right? True. Or you run into a cross turn kick. Oof. Um, just be aware of that. Those are the big weaknesses behind it. But hell, Teresa also suffers the same fate. Mm hmm. Except, at least with Teresa, you got the burn two off, but, uh, really? Uh, uh. And some people will be like, well, Teresa's cost is easier to pay. One in a card. I'm like, so? Uh, this is effectively just paying one because you attack with this. And then do the ability. You could get seven. You could you could do triple nuka on seven stock. Right. So Where, so whereas, like, that's not, that's not pretty good actually. Like, like a, a a pay two at the end of a battle is effectively a pay one. Once you start to battle. Right. So this is this is cheaper than the original power of smile, which is three in a card. Right. The only reason why I think the main reason why you did get that because that climax was a stock soul. And what other choice did we have? Exactly. We had no other choice. What would we do? Kyoko? No. Kyoko. <laughs> Kyoko was trash. Hey man, some people pl tried the try that Uzuki garbage. I'm like, no. Oh my goodness. What? They just want to go for the flavor. <laughs> Yeah, uh, we believe in sweating, not flavor. We believe in sweating, not flavor. But, you know, in terms of sweating, yes. Oh, in limited? Yes. Yeah. This is, this is much, this is only a rare, so it's much easier to find than chorizo. And the climax is a climax common. So, now, I will warn some people, do not play the eight pants. Don't, don't go eight pants, please. Oh god, that level one combo. Ugh. I would yeah. not play Mark. Uh, I would I, not overall, play. I'm good against a playable. Like, worth considering at the minimum. What do I want to give this? Hmm. I'm sure it, 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 you could debate that there's other top ends worth playing over this, but I, 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 I like what this offers on the table. Well, okay, so let's see here. Compare this to other the other top end. Mommy, no. Sumi doesn't really close games. So, no. Chorizo. Uh, I mean, the burn tooth okay, but Nuka's more explosive. And Ruka's cheaper to get off. And Ruka can also possibly be. Um, Ruka's also modular too. So yeah, with modular, I was also going to say more of. If you choose to go restand mode, she could be flexible, because you can side on a second attack for more precise damage. 
You know what? I'm gonna get the stones thrown at me. Give us a sparkly doge. Ooh. I, I was considering it, but I'm like, mm, I, 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 I shouldn't be that confident. Well, I'm usually the ballsier of the two of us, so. True. Uh, and, and the reason for the Sparkle Doge is, looking at all the other top ends, I'm like, nothing's as flexible as Nuka. Nothing is as flexible as her. Sumi, you could argue, but at the same time, Sumi doesn't really kill people. No. Or, or rather, you're killing people in a more indirect way. You're, you're, you're hoping to starve them out of the game. Which isn't a terrible strategy, but at the same time, Bushiro doesn't really cater to that type of strategy anymore. Yeah, but Bush, Bushiro has made that strategy pretty frail in they'd general. Ra they'd rather you turn on the explosives and go. Yeah. So, and Ruka really facilitates explosives. And if you're not confident in going for game, free fresh. Let's go. No. no free fresh and plus th plus the tray. Let's go. Yeah. Plus free free fresh on steroids. <laughs> actually, this is a selective. Actually, in terms of real card advantage, this is a, a selective plus one and a free fresh at the same time. Stonks. Pretty stonks. This, pretty fucking stonks, man. Now, just don't do this with three Nuka on the board. If you're planning to play free fresh mode, do not play three of them. Don't play three of them. You want to conserve Nukas for the next turn. You know, and of course, I would also recommend people to go, don't, if you're planning to play this as your top end, play Sumi as your level two game. Flexibility, flexibility, and you get your heals elsewhere. Mm -hmm. All right, next. Yep, we now have the girlfriend is me, Ruka. Level 3 2 costs, 10,000 power, on play heal, and when rumbling heartbeat, the same pass triggers from the previous combo. As play in your comments area, you may pay the cost of playing her to the weight room to choose one, uh, Ruka in your weight room and play in this card's previous swap. Okay. Bushy Road. Take notes. This is how you just. This is how you put. You know, this is how you place a heal on a finisher without really pissing off, without really pissing people off. Right. Because like we just know we had to kind of consider like like we want to go all in <laughs> instead of just and going oh four four heal a finisher go burr. Now you also have to consider space. Yeah. You know, this is the this is the philosophy that I really like. This mm -hmm. makes you think about your moves. Yeah, I, I, I do like what uh, they did for this set overall with this, like, character transform dealio when you play Climax. I mean, sure. It's effectively like hardcasting the the restand. Fair enough. But at the same time, okay. You know, this also increases consistency, too. This and the chorizo. Right. The chorizo equivalent. Mm-hmm. I think that was more for what they were going, as opposed to forcing people to think. But at the same time, I like it how we both went to this forces people to think rather than increase consistency instantly. But yeah, yeah, yes, it can also increase consistency. But you know, most people would probably think twice before going like, "Ooh, everyone go all in on like four and four of each of these." I would probably go two Duka. Two of this and four of the finisher. If I was going for the Nuka package, right? Because at least at least you do have other universal healers like Kizaru. See, Sumi, man. Or Sumi, yeah. Why would you not play Sumi? <laughs> like, Sumi is so good. Like, but in in terms of like, you could also just slap her down as a vanilla heal if you really need to. Mm-hmm. Sure, she doesn't do anything else if you don't have the pants in hand. At the same time, you should have the pants in hand. So if you really want to build Kanokari, I would definitely... Like, you could easily make out like a... Though Kanokari is still kind of expensive, even if you go Nuka instead of Chorizo, because... Oh man, some of those double wires are expensive. Mm -hmm. Sumi Brainstorm, $13 each. Mm. Uh, Nuka Clean Cut, $13 each. Mm. 
So that's, that's our. That's yeah. Ew, that's expensive. But in terms in terms of Duka here, well, she's a playable in my opinion. She's not the playable plus like the restand is because you'd play less copies of her. Hmm. You'd yeah. probably play less copies. I of I, her I, I, I I agree here. Angle. Uh, let me get it. Of course. Um. Yes. Right. Yeah. It's a two meter that also heals you. Why? Why not? <laughs> you're not, limited, not, not everyone's going to be able to find Kizuru. <laughs> and in limited, you value that two soul. And hey, Ten K is nothing I'm going to sneeze at. Not, in, not in limited. Constructed gets mowed down easily. Yeah. All right. Next. What? What is this room for, Fuka? One zero four K. It, when you would pay the auto ability of Nuka Ah, you may use one marker underneath this instead of Star. Ooh, that's quite nifty. You rarely see that. She's a level assist. And when this card enters the battlefield, choose one of your guys from your grave and place it underneath it, face it as a marker. Okay. Wow, wow clean, clean, mar clean markers. Good. It's also a level assist. That's 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 pretty nifty. That's pretty like you could re use like if you're playing Sumi at, at your level one combo, you could theoretically use this in in replacement of the uh, the Sumi support because Sumi only helps herself. Right, whereas Ruka is like yeah, I work for all other rental girlfriend characters. Well, now, okay. if you want to annual, if you choose to use that top end, hey, I can also help with that. Dude, it could be. Dude, it may. Dude, it only requires six stock. But you get invest one into this. Not if I stood by it in. Stonks. Oh, wait, no. I, oh, wait, no. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Shit, I had to hard cast this. You're funny. Yeah, I was about to say, I'm funny. Oops. But seven stock is not hard for for most decks. It should be easy. To be easy to fire it. But again, you could use it as clean compression for the rest of the game, which is incredibly valuable. Right. So I would probably you know what? Oh, and limited? Dude, it's a level support. Yeah, and and you again it could be level support that just uh, Permanent restores away uh, one character for like the rest of the game. Who the fuck has Bounce Unlimited? <laughs> Who the fuck is Bounce Unlimited? So yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't feel bad about hard casting this Unlimited. Yeah, so I think overall uh, I'm, I will give this a playable. And the playable trade continues. All right, we will now move on here. Hug Ruka zero zero five hundred. She's a level zero bottom deck bomb, and you may also act pay one for her to the waiting room to look at up to the top four cards of your deck, reveal up to one rental girlfriend character I'm awesome, add it to your hand, and mill the rest. Yo dog, I don't I I I seen a lot of Kano Kari less online, and I see like four of these and I'm going, What? I, what? I guess they're like, how else do we go how else do we deck fix? Um Play yeah, Sumi, play Sumi combo. Like, Sumi combo. You draw... Ah, instead of milling those cards, you draw them instead. You also have Nise to fix your deck problems. And Nise at least allows you to pitch anything. This is your pitch target, effectively. Right. And guess, and guess what? For Sumi, yeah, you had to pay, but you gained four cards out of it. I think that's more than fair. Mm -hmm. With this, you just go, eh. And with this, you have to choose between, do I want to swing with this, or do I want to sacrifice it for... Right. For I guess I'm going to go with memory, so oof. Even worse. Like, what? Oh, sure. The 500 power bottom... Like, I care more about the first sentence than the second one. Right. 
because at least I can, you know, mess around with some profiles. It does something, unlike the second one. The second part, I'm just going, what? Like, I feel bad for not every single memory. At the very least. Like, I, like, I get it, they don't want to make every title become... They don't want to make every title have the potential to do memory compression shenanigans, but still... I would have been happier if they replaced the second ability completely with something else. Like... I never found these pay ones to dig, to dig, to dig X take one to be worth it a lot of the time. Mm-hmm. Like, especially since this doesn't let me grab anything. I get it, I get it. They don't want, again, they, they think Chibi, they think Chibi Don is too, too OP apparently. She really isn't, but okay. Like, the level zero bottom deck bomb. But by Psychono, be prepared to be exterminated. But that's like the only reason to run it. Oh, but by Kappa, Sheena, you funny. Mm hmm. Like. I'd rather this be Sayo, basically. Where's my regenerate? <laughs> True. So. I can't oof this. I really can't. I'm gonna give this the mercy niche just for the double zero bottom deck bomb alone. And in limited. Uh, it, it, it's useful for the persons. Like if, if you yeah like she's she's not a terrible zero to pick up. And if you're you could you could you could do worse. Keep it. If you're absolutely desperate and limited, sure you can use the bottom sentence, but I would highly advise against it. Because you. Have you have so few resources in limited? And two, if you're flooded, this doesn't help. Right. The only reason why it will help is if you are like, eh, you know, you're in first deck and you're still like seven key cards from refresh. Like, do people not do people not factor in the scenario where they're flooded with climaxes in their hand? Do people never consider that? You know, I'm sure you consider it. It's just more of. Get us like getting out of first deck ASAP in general. Have fun refreshing with four climaxes then, sir. Understandable. <laughs> you're dead anyway. <laughs> you are in the exact same spot. Actually, no, you're in a worse position because you have less resources and you took refresh point. Can so, you know so legitimately speaking, what did you do besides help your opponent, basically? You didn't really do anything. <laughs> Well, oh, <laughs> alrighty, next card. Mm -hmm. Girlfriend and girlfriend, Buka, one zero one k. This is a one k counter. Accelerate. So you hit yourself from. You choose a guy in your grave and put it at the bottom of your claw. When you when you use the backup, you may you may pay the cost. If you do, dig four, take one, mill the rest, and. Hey, it's hey because of 2K counter now. 2K counter on Lions Max. <laughs> uh, excuse me, sir. Lions Max does not require me to hit myself. No, but I guess it's, this is the closest we'll get on a character version. I was about to say this is also on a creature, so. Uh, and hey, Singer Singer tries to get brainstorm. And Matt, I didn't like. And Matt, I didn't like anything from the top four. Let's dig. Let's dig one more card, boys. Let's get it. <laughs> let's get it. <laughs> um, but how should I say this? Does accelerate really have a place in this game anymore? Because of how quickly the game moves. Yeah. Like, I feel that's one of BB's key weaknesses. Accelerate. Like, if it didn't have that, it could have done something more. Right. And I feel that's also one of Fate's biggest weaknesses. It basically has Accelerate for the first half of the game. I'm just gonna be like, I think I have true Accelerate, but... <laughs> uh, I've seen pilots be reckless with Accelerate. 
with their version of Accelerate. Sure, they keep card advantage, but... Uh... Like, I feel the game is just too quick now. To, to a four cock encore, I guess you remain like cock encore. I guess already have like a similar problem. Like that's yeah. that's why you're probably also questioning like, does Razor Sway would have even the strongest chance of being anything competitive? Because that's no, also I... that's also an accelerates. Uh, like, I don't remember if BB had a card like Mask Game where if you accelerate and you have four or more cards in your cock, you heal one. No, it doesn't. Okay, so Razor's Way at least has that going for it. But where, they, where, it can, where it can undo an accelerate, basically. But I feel that I feel I feel that accelerate needs a lot of support. Like Ruka shows, it could Ruka shows. There's a foundation, like a foundational level. They're trying to do something about it, but right. Ruka's at least a cantrip. Yeah. That's really fucking good. That's really fucking good, but at the same time, like, you don't want to use Ruka at, say, level 3. No. Ooh, that's way too risky at that point. At the same time, you want to heal down. Mm hmm. Before finishers. But before, before finishers fucking one shot you. Right. Although, I'd argue a lot of finishers can already. Yeah, from like 3-0 or even 2 and mid. Yeah, I was about to say, uh, I've seen KOs 2-1. Oh my goodness, 2-1 that's KOs. Fucking, that's fucking scary, dude. Oh, it is, yeah. That... Like, imagine being KO'd from 2-1. That's pretty nasty. I mean, Nelson can KO you from mid-1, dude. The, the question is more of, how the heck were you stuck at 1 against Conkale? They didn't cancel, you did. So, so it seems! <laughs> but mean, at the same time, I... did Conkale even have the turns to get the stock to do no thing with Double Musashi? Yes, actually, I was the pilot. Understandable. 3-6, three, three, it's my final turn. Opponent is at 1-5. Okay, I have four cards in hand. Let's get it. Let's fucking go. It's my last turn anyway. So, make make your board, fill it up, and no singing it is. Nelson to 1-5 to KO. Nice. The, my opponent was like, what the actual fuck? <laughs> I got KO'd? Yeah, I, I think I think like you know, one of my friends that plays uh, mainly English when when I when I first showed the guy uh. My first joke is kind of nothing. He's just like, what? Yeah, literally. Um, like, wait, wait. It does what? On top of you having what? Hey, man. The only thing that makes Nelson even remotely fair is she has to tap. She can't attack. She can't attack, but you don't care. Imagine if Nelson could also attack. I I I I I don't know. I'm always throwing a quick stuff here. I'm noticing. I do like I do like how fearful she is because of her uh, mechanics in the game. So so yeah, for, for the idea is like in the game, uh, uh, if you are in the double line formation, and she is your flagship, um, her, the ship in the third position of the fleet and the fifth position, will attack the fleet. Uh, all at will attack the fleet and Greece strikes uh, as if no sim like you know like, like normally like you just get one attack per turn on per per ship. No sim bees would be like instead of doing that, I'm gonna have two allies come in with me and we'll do three attacks. <laughs> oh shit, you right? Like I, I, I guess why that's why I, I so so that's that's why she taps. But like, it, it's as if she did her thing. That's that's like her regular attack basically. But the other ships. But the other two ships that attack with her, they still get the regular turn. Oh, oh, okay. So that's why Nelson is so deadly. Yeah. Like, um, like, like, yeah. like, 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 Nelson was like, like, well, Nelson's like one of those, even if you had to sink to easy mode, you had to get her because she was that good. <laughs> but, yeah, like, um, but, uh, unironically, Nelson's not even played. And I'm like, what? What? 
Uh, how do you people not, not play Nelson of all things? Like, JFC, Nelson. Though, I would argue it's the rest of Concoli that needs help, not Nelson. Right. So, like, 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 sure, uh, Zara, Glay, and Tashkent helped, but those can only do so much. Uh, I would argue the trash can didn't do that much. It, it allowed Conclay to heal just by playing anti-heal. True. But at the same time, boats can't really afford the card net. The card net. For trash can. In general, well, I suppose not. I mean, I've played a lot. Of, I've played a lot of trash can. I know. But back to back to Nuka here. I appreciate Bushy Road for trying. Oh, and Unlimited. Can you really? Well, actually, I I I don't see a reason. I I you, you could actually argue it, in my opinion. Unlimited, you could probably afford the damage. Actually. Yeah, you don't really care. You're, you're, you're pro, like. It's card advantage, man. I'll take the hit. Well, it, it, it's it's more like um. You're washing with the uh, with the counter. Well, the counter is usually the counter. The counter is usually a net. Yeah. Net. Yeah, that's why I say you're washing. Right. So I like the can trip. Yeah. In most majority of wise players, remember, dude, wise players don't actually don't actually consider what true pluses are. They consider a wash a plus. Ooh. That makes like no sense. Yeah, well, you try arguing with the differential engine about it. Like, he, okay, to be fair, at least with that guy, he'll probably explain more of like, okay, you use the counter, you effectively one for one the character. Right, but pretty much, here's how I consider card advantage. I take, I start with the number of cards in my hand, and at the start of the turn, and, I, and then, and then I can count the number of cards in my hand after the turn. So, like, how it should be done in most games. Hell, even Connie tried to argue with me about that. About that logic. Anyway, advantage like, calculation aside, I, I'm going to say this is a playable minus. Yeah, I'll give it a playable minus. I, I consider giving it a playable, but I'm like, no, I can't be too nice. Alrighty. We now have... Why are you here? Ruka, one zero twenty five hundred power. On play or not on play on attack. If you have four or more other rental girlfriend characters, you may pay the cost of discarding a rental girlfriend character from your hand. If you do, this card gets thirty five hundred power, and the following ability until end of turn. On reverse, you may draw one, and auto change. At the beginning of your encore step, if she's in your front row, you may pay the cost of putting her to the waiting room. If you do, choose one friendly girlfriend Ruka, card number 88, in your waiting room and play it in its card's previous slot. And I'll let Gavin read uh, friendly girlfriend Ruka here. Okay, we got friendly girlfriend Ruka here, One zero. Okay, during your opponent's turn, if you have another mental girlfriend character. Oh, so hard, Bushy! Right. Stop it! This card gets 3,000 power. Uh... When this enters the battlefield, if you don't have if you don't have another guy, <laughs> this thing dies immediately. Lamau. Mm -hmm. And sacrifice this. Choose why are you here, Duca? Number eighty-seven. The card we just looked at. From your grave and place it onto the previous previous uh, card slot. Alrighty. Uh, so it's why these weird things again. So you know, this is where like you're only really playing is because you you're building around the girl. If uh, that, Bushy, why are you, why why are you putting these weird Roncos at level one? Right, I don't know what that. No, no, this is a, a thirty-five hundred, sir. Not. A... Also, ooh, I have to pitch a guy. Right, oh. only to be a seven K with on reverse character for the one card back that could be a climax for all we know. <laughs> oh God, damn it. I think they wanted to make it so we couldn't discard pants because that'd be... Because Bushy Road is really afraid of Spring Knight at this point. It's, it's not getting even close! What? Back in my day, they used to print these cards that say, Act, Discard, Climax, Give Your Character 1K and on Reverse Draw 1 card. Okay, Grandpa. No one cares. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going, what? Come on, Bushy, let me discard my pants trigger. 
Or even gold bars. No? <laughs> no. You play gold bar, you deserve to be flooded. <laughs> That's what Gavin's probably saying. Hey man, hey man. I have PTSD from, from Vivid Strike about gold bars, okay? Hey man, I'm still here playing Miku from time to time. Don't you have PTSD from being fun of my gold bars? I got PTSD. I have fucking no. Oh, I I, enjoy, I I rarely get frustrated with the deck. Or oh, when Dick through time gives you garbage. No, I think I think the only time I get the only time I get close to frustrated with that deck is if I never pop off sharing the world before first refresh. Yeah, that's quite frustrating. <laughs> oh, but I'm just going. Man. Is it time? The east is burning red. Yeah, this hand of mine is burning red. And you know what? Give it to both of these goddamn things. This is not even a limited. No. At least this time, we, we took over halfway to finally do this, I think. Yeah, I was about to say. I've been very generous this this review. Well, I mean, no, no. I I I, I was saying like, overall, Ruka has had pretty good design philosophy. Oh yeah, she has had great cards. But nobody can escape. Nobody can escape the oof. No one can escape the oof. All right, we will move on. The blindfold remains as it is. Ruka, two one seventy five hundred power. On play, if you have four or more other rental girlfriend characters. It's quite a tall order here, Bushy Rogue. Oh, choose, choose one rank kill girlfriend character in your waiting room, and you may play it to your stock. And on play, you may pay one discard a Climax to Climax Swap. Yo, dog, that ain't terrible, actually. No, like, no. You, you could effectively make her free, and she's a whopping 7,500 power guy, did it? Now, of course, I think we're, we've seen this a lot on level 2 in the past. Even... Even before this oh, massive definitely. Uh, one of the ones that I remember very well is actually uh, Hasuge Miku uh, version 3. She's a level assist that on play uh, Dick the King. Imaga Saikyo Nozomi. Yeah, Nozomi's another one. Is, it, is the one I distinctly remember. Right. It's just, it's just that V3 Hasuge Miku was first. Of course, of course. <laughs> God damn it, I didn't get any, I didn't get any more Imaga Saikyo. Those things I've appreciated like fuck. Oof. I could have had some major stonks, man. But... True go. Bye. Hey, man. You and the magician promo and the magician and the magician reprint is nowhere near. Near the price. Oh gosh, no. But those were meant. But I wish that it was overall a good thing that those existed because. Boy, would the cow be would the cow be out of people's reach uh, otherwise. You know what's funny is a lot of people don't even play the magic, don't even play as a in Love Live anymore. I'm like, are you high? What's like, wrong? With, like, what's wrong with Hong Kong? Like, like, oh no, she's not baby. She's not really white. Why's that problem? <laughs> yeah, that's it. Cards are that good. <laughs> now, Nuka. Are they trying to make the two ones appealing in the levels? I, I think that was the idea. Like you, I guess you're you're, pur you're purposely trying to play around like a pseudo cost you seventy five at level two that that did this thing. Well, Kaede is only fifteen hundred at zero, so she ain't killing. Neither one, neither neither profile is killing shit at their respective level. True, but I, I guess they're trying to. Well, the problem with like the level two versions of these that these don't. You're using only to try to get to your finisher quite mess at that point more than anything. Whereas with the level zero version, you could use it to access your level one combo. True. Which I I well, think they're purposely trying to. I think you're probably I think you're trying to say a message of. Y'all need to pray harder to get your level one combo. Or drop like a boss. Exactly. Like. <laughs> They, 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 Dude, I, really, I, I really use it for level one combo. <laughs> but still, yeah. like, like, like the options there. True, but at the same time, I'm fine. I'm fine with Nuka. 
Yeah, this is alright. And, and, uh, let me get Yeah, sure, why not? This why is not? good. Yep, uh, I... Great, actually. Yeah. Um... Hmm. How would I rate this card, though? Like, I, I'm kind of, I'm slightly teetering, but I think I had to overall go for the playable minus? I'll give it the playable. I'll sure. be the other half. Alright. We were thinking the same thing, weren't we? Yeah, I, I, I think we were. <laughs> I was like... Playable minus or playable? I, 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 I could see the argument. I, I'm just more of like, oh. I was like, fuck. He selected the conservative half, so I gotta go. So okay. I gotta go with liberal half. Fair. All right. Wait, since when did you become Fox News and I became CNN? I'm apparently Glenn Beck now. Understandable. All right, Bungie Tub Confession Duka 002K. When the census battlefield, this target gains 1500. And when this but this card's battle opponent becomes reversed, if you have a climax in your climax area, you may blind stalk. Interesting. Yo, Bushy. Phyrexian anything? Anybody? This is <laughs> What? What is color pie? What is color pie? Yeah, why why are blue cards stalking? What's going on? Well to be fair, the only reason why I'm gonna sweat we forgive them is only because Ruka does have green cards. That makes Rook a Simic. And Simic ramps. Because of the green part, man, not the blue. <laughs> You're right. That'd be like saying Void Slime should be a fucking green card. No, bro, it's a Simic card. You know that. <laughs> Fuck out of here. <laughs> I tried. Or it's like saying Rampant Growth should grow to blue because because it's part of Simic. Oh god, no. We don't want fucking Rampant Growth in blue. Holes, no! <laughs> rampant Growth. <laughs> Can you blame me for making the Rampant Growth bears? No. Um. So, if we play this with the pants, this is a 4 5. Noise. What, what the fuck aren't you killing in zero? <laughs> oh, Crimson Demon Genius destroyed? <laughs> I'm trying to think of other 3-5s. Uh, oh. Nanners, right? Nanners. She's a 3k. Destroyed? Yeah, but level 1, so it makes her even more painful to deal with. Yes, and there are no level 0 counters in that set. Uh, Clean Cuts Behind Sprig at Night? Destroyed? Oh yeah, I wish it's just exploding last thing does become a 3-5 with Spriggan. <laughs> like, there's a lot of cards that, that Bungie Jump here destroyed. This thing's a fucking common, too! And she has a neat little benefit there to, like, go even more aggro at zero with your Climax. Oh yeah! This forces you to play a Climax, so yeah! That's- 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 that's, that's pretty stonks! Yeah, that's pretty fucking stonks, like... And... Man, I... And when they're getting? Yes? Now I go? Oh, no... Uh... Of course, like... I started giving this to playable minus only because there's already so many good zeros in, in this title. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to get this playable minus. I'm like, I was considering playable, but I was like, no. There, there are so many other, like, like, you can say bad, but it's more of, ooh, you almost make the cut if it weren't for, like, the existence of these other guys. But in limited? Oh, hell yeah, dude! No, let's fucking go. <laughs> and fucking, and I, I get that, that garbage rare in the back of my pack. Oh. Bungie Jump Confession Ruka, let's go. <laughs> First fucking pick, unironically. Gang Gang gets passed. They can't take the Kizuru Brainstorm. What? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Wait, are you guys that desperate for card advantage? <laughs> Apparently, you guys didn't read Mobby over here. <laughs> Much fucking better than fucking Chorizo Brainstorm. Come on, man. Don't you guys fucking read, read the set beforehand? You guys pay fifty dollars for fucking limited? I I'm not preparing, thinking. Like, oh come on. Thanks for the free money, guys, I'll take it. <laughs> Alrighty, let's just truck along here. <laughs> yes. We now have Happy New Year Ruka 0 2500 power. Auto at beginning of your opponent's combat space, you may accelerate by putting a rental girlfriend. Character from your weight room to the bottom of your cork. If you do, this card gets 2000 power and the following ability and kill the end of the turn. At the beginning of your opponent's attack phase, you may move this card. 
Yeah. My book is card killing MK Square for having a Pumice character. Uh, I don't know what I hate. This or Chica? Well, Chica doesn't require you to gain yourself and gets to do the chase. This requires you to gain yourself, but she becomes a 4500 power chase. But in Shaoran, you will gladly hit yourself. More so, yeah, in general, yeah. And, 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 we claim, and, you know, you're going with zero. You don't care about gaining yourself at zero. That's why you said you'll gladly hit yourself. This yeah, is, sure, why not? Yeah, I guess this, this is pretty good. <laughs> like, it constructed, um, that's why I said, what do I hate more? This or Chica? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then in limited, oh, definitely take this. What? It's limited. Yo, dog. I see that. I see Teresa brainstorm. I see this. Yo, dog. I'm taking the nuka. <laughs> that's 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 pretty good. I'm gonna lie. Fucking good. Or what's another garbage Teresa card? Oh no no. I see the level one combo. Of the level one Teresa combo, and I see this. Fucking nuka. It is stonks. Again, again, again. Let's pick the pack. What did they take? <laughs> Again, noises that a comment's missing. What? They took the summer Teresa? Are you high? <laughs> no. <laughs> and, 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 during the duel. Okay, I'm a summon Teresa. Uh, I will kill your Nuka for free. Sure, beginning of your attack step. Hit myself, run in front of the other non Teresa. What? <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah, no. Picks up, pick, picks up card and read for. Oh, fuck you, right? <laughs> hey, man, read your own card. You need to revert. <laughs> Oof. Have, yeah, have fun doing three that. Have fun doing the tray. I don't fucking care. <laughs> uh, you... man, I, I got, I got an honor. I could give this a playable. Fuck it, Sparkle Doge it is! Whoa, Gavin Hughes like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> let's fucking go, boy. Hey, man, it denies on reverse combos that badly. Oh, true, is yeah. that Is that fucking good? And you don't care about hitting yourself at zero? Right, like or, or, even, like or, or even early one. <laughs> like, that, that, that's why I'm just like, that's why I made the Chica comparison. What do I hate more, this or fucking Chica? <laughs> Like, hot damn! Like, what? I guess it's like, a common. No, no. With, 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 and, and, with, with, with the big, uh, fake AF, uh, downside of dinging yourself. Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> call, call, call an ambulance, you just hit yourself. No, 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 Gavin. It's more of call an ambulance, but not for me. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like,. <laughs> oh my god, this card, this card, like, this is like giving Yoshino the playable plus. Man, I've been nice to these comments, haven't I? Some of these cards are pretty dope. Yeah, some of these cards are actually really good. Like I said, man, this or Teresa level 1, what would you take? Oh, of course I take this. Don't you get up? Oh, come on, I take it, Teresa! <laughs> like, are these two guys high? This over Teresa level 1? Like, yeah! Freezer level one's garbage. <laughs> Anyways, uh, on to the next card. Oh my god. It, it, <laughs> it, 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 oh, a cert. Yeah, James is gonna. James wants their heads on a pike already. <laughs> <laughs> the Neo Me, Duca. 2 1, 6,000. Oh boy, guys, we have more hitting. Man, I think Nuka players are. Nuka players are uh, masochistic. They love hitting themselves. I actually remember, as I mentioned earlier in this review, this is all on purpose because Ruka's ultimate goal is to feel ecstatic from a higher heart rate from being hugged by Kazuya. True. But I'm talking about the pilots. What if they just, what if they just want their heart rate to go up by being excited by playing White Horse? Yeah, that's true. And they also really like their Naobu a lot. Oh, that's a great like, reason to me. <laughs> Good reason. She's actually a really good VA, so. Although she loses a lot in these harem, these harem animators. Oh, but that's not why you're watching it. 
No, that's not why, but again, she tends to lose a lot. <laughs> uh, at the beginning of your climax phase, you may hit yourself. Uh, if you do, this this card gains a thousand power and the following ability. But the battle opponent of this becomes reversed, you may search your deck for one card, reveal it, and add it in shuffle. And when this card attacks, uh, this power the this card gains power times X, where X is one thousand times your opponent's creatures, multiplied by one thousand. So interesting. Hey, a level three. Uh, up at it's a eight. level. It's a. It's definitely. Yeah, it could be a level three killer king. Also, uh, you gain yourself to to search. Hey man, I dig myself the fucking cantrip. Let's fucking go, boy. Stalks. I'm pretty fucking good. Now, be careful about doing this at two. Right. Like you don't do this three times. Ow. No, no. This is usually like a one or two of anyway. And in let me get just kill stains. Yes. And unironically, life is more of a resource than limited. Life is far more of a resource. I think we I think we can agree on that one. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Like, uh Oh my oh my opponent didn't grab any early place? Accelerate. Hey look, you have a juicy morsel for me to destroy. Alright. Yeah, it's fucking dead. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking dead. And man, this could this can this can clobber Chorizo early play. True. This could also this could clobber Sumi actually. Yeah. But then again, if they if somebody drafted Mono Sumi, oh, uh, they probably have counters in hand. Right, but overall, I think uh, I'm I'm gonna give it to playable minus. Worth considering, but space could be tight. Playable minus, yeah, sounds about right because uh, it's risky at two. It's risky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has to risk. That's quite a drawback. At least this is a tutor and not a salvage. If this was salvage, ooh, it's entering niche category, niche territory now. Getting close, if anything. All right. Oh boy, I had to read the. Uh, I read a bit of a cursed card. <laughs> oh boy. My point of view, Ruka. 2-1-6-K. This card gets part of plus 1,000 for each of your other ranked kill girlfriend characters. And when this card's battle point becomes reverse, you may pay the cost of discarding a card named I Can't Stand That Ruka. Number 93, that vanilla you see up there. If you do, burn one. Um, why? They're, they're, they're really trying different ways to make vanillas playable. Okay, they tried two two of them in Albuta. One was stock stock charge this card directly. The other was also so. But yeah, this card only the vanilla. The vanilla. So the missing only? a true loss is a, in any sense of the word. Right, but that's the closest thing we could, that's the closest thing we have to also so. The closest. Don't give me bin these, sir. Don't you dare. <laughs> no more papers. <laughs> And man, best girl is on both of those cards, so excuse me. But the only reason you would even consider those in Alboots is because its level zero card pool is so ass that vanillas start being like you might even consider vanillas that might do something later on later in the game. Just so you have playable. Unironically. Unironically, man, like you really don't have much other choice. But here in Girlfriend, we have so many good zeros. It's not even funny. Party, it, it's hard. It's hard to fit in. It's hard to fit, man. Right, even with the good zeros, you're like, "Ooh, how many of these do I actually run?" <laughs> Sumi brainstorm. Oh, uh, that's typically a three of. No, that's a four of, sir. Be because not, because not you, you gotta make sure you're getting a low area. Uh, Sumi engine go burr. Yeah, Sumi engine do go burr. You're playing four copies of Ruka Clean Cut. Like, that's not negotiable either. Oh, uh, what a- But like, everything else? Pfft, let's first start entering those. Ooh, tough oh, decision. The D's, eh? Okay, three to... Three to four... Three of... But everything, but I think from that point, you just kind of go... Pfft, right? Well, I mean, that level swap isn't a bad idea. But, you know, at the same time, the vanilla FR. 
Is he, try, is, he, is he trying to invoke it again? Yeah, it's not, it, So, it's as of today, DLG. you are no longer my master. And KOJ! Mm. You know, it's if it was my turn to read, I, I, I wouldn't even read the card. Scream KOJ. You would just scream KOJ. <laughs> hey, man, the card is that bad? <laughs> Oof. Just KOJ. Alright. Good card. Good question. Hand of Persistent Battles, Nuka. 227k. When your other rental girlfriend attack, this card gains 2k and no. Just no. So, um. This hang of mine is burning red? It's loud roar tells me to grasp victory. Wait a second, aren't we missing a particular, particular card? Are we? Are we missing? I think we're missing a few, aren't we? No, we're not. Are you sure? What am I missing? A blue event. We already went through it. FR? It was the one that summoned, it was the one that gets 79 damage. Oh, right. Hmm. No, I, I, I think we're actually gone. Are we? Let me double check. There are only 21 non. There are only 21 non quite match blue cards. Mm. And one of them tackle two on the same slide because it's a vanilla. You just think that we're done. You just think that's why we're done because it hasn't been 90 minutes yet, Gavin. Has it been 90 minutes? You, you, and, and, you, you and, feel like it's have to enter the two hour mark somehow. No, 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 I, I, no, I, we're, uh, yeah, we're actually missing a card, so. What? How, what did I forget? Oh, I think we're, I thought we, no, no, There's... apparently we're not. No, what? I swear I got everything. 77 all the way down to. 97, 97 was included pretty early. Wait, 98, we are a... missing one card. What's what's ninety eight? I'll link it to you. I'm like, I know we're missing a card. I know we're missing. There was a second event I forgot about. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, no, I found it. Whoop, 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 whoa. Um, I need to figure out how to translate this name. Please follow me silently. Okay. Let's see. Damaru. Seite kuru. Kudasai. Yup. Oof. Alright, let me pull up a template here. Yeah, we could. We, uh, we could. We could. Yeah, I was about to say, like, uh, yeah, we. We, we hella forgot. <laughs> oh, oh no. This is embarrassing. We need to. We need to edit this out like hella. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. Like, we actually forgot! I just thought that it was only one event. So that's why I didn't check for the rest. I swear, did you do this at like 2 a.m. again, man? No, I did it earlier today. Oh, wow. Ooh. No, your opponent chooses. I was about to say, man, this is way too, that was way too good. Wait, we're missing a card. Hey, man, we would have had the stones thrown at us. And if, if any of you actually watched my hand, it's like, yo, dog, you guys forgot a card. And it's actually a good card, too. I'm like, we did? Oh, fuck, we did forget. Well, I mean... Let me try to make sure I get this grammatically correct. Yeah, wait, it hasn't even been 90 minutes yet? Holy crap. That's really short for a, for a modern, day, modern day review. That's oh, I mean, really... it's just because of how, how small her carpool is. Mommy. I guess I only have to be you. Okay, mommy dude? That was for a different reason. 
Yeah, that's true. That one was personal. Okay. And we now have Please Follow Me Silently. Two long event. Your opponent chooses one card mess in your waiting room and shuffles all other cards from your waiting room, getting a chosen card to their deck, and choose one of your characters and gets power plus 2,000 until end of turn. Wait, Fumi was on an event? When? Uh, apparently starting out. Holy crap, what? So this yeah, is this referring is... back to the blindfold that we saw earlier. Yeah, suppose it, the blindfold stays as is. <laughs> now, of course. Wait, this is Fumio Mark 2. This is Fumio Mark 2 on an event, yes. Now, instead of being on a body, they give you a 2000 set. Which is nifty? It's, it's debatably fairer than being on a body. Because at least you can not just Herger, Find It, and Fumio Gober. Right, this is a lot. Right, but at the same time, you have to pay more for the body. And majority people, majority uh, most, most, body. yeah, most, most, well, most Fumio Mark II's only say, like, you just need to tap a character to do the Fumio Mark II. Wow, that's, that's bullshit. <laughs> Versus the original Fumio pay one additional. That's a lot fairer. Right, like, you, you like, some people just ironically go play the Fumio Mark II, rest it, and do the thing. <laughs> what? Because they're like, my other level 3 is too good. <laughs> and they're probably going to run over the Fumio Mark II anyway. But... And with, with, the this, event, with the event, like, okay, you effectively kind of do what you already did, and you're also getting a 2,000 power boost. Like, that's pretty strong. I, I, I'd argue the event is actually better. Right, the, 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 the main fall is simply like, the main fall does become, well, yanking out hard draw. Sure, there's no way to fetch. So you may be forced to play a minimum of two copies so that you can at least attempt to find it. I would say three. If you're gonna play this at all. It's either like three or zero in my Yeah, I could see an argument. And in limited why the heck not? You 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 get you get you get geek potential geek compression and power? That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. That helps with Duke Restand in both both power and her ability to hit slam your opponent. So I I argue overall playable. Hmm. What would I normally give Fumio Mark Two? Because I haven't actually I don't think we've actually reviewed Fumio Mark Two on the show. Actually. No, because those were... Well, that's the thing, it's just very prank Fumio, period. We've reviewed stock swaps, like, like hell and back. That's because they, they think stock swaps are more fair than Fumio, which is fair. Stock swaps, uh, how... <laughs> stock swaps are almost always more fair than Fumio. Right, but competitive players are looking for the both of them to I mean... Which is... Few titles will ever get both in it. In, few, few titles have ever get both. What? I was about to say, sir, there's quite a few of them that have, that have both. It's not that many. You can count them on... I can just really count them on one hand. You can count them, I think, on two. Really? I need to double check I think, that. I think you can count them on fucking two, man. Uh, okay, lo uh, original Love Live is the obvious first one. Real meme Suba? Uh, I'm trying to remember what. Why do I feel like I've never seen a stock swap in that title? What is foreclosure? You. It doesn't happen immediately. True, but foreclosure also has the benefit of saying. Fuck you and your finishing power. Foreclosure, I don't count it as a true stock swap in a traditional sense for uh, multiple reasons. Your fabled bong meme, sir? Okay, it has Fumio Mark 2 and it has the event. Yes, that's 2. Hmm. Of course, of course, those are restricted in JP, so that's kind of a uh, thinking. Kind of a moot point, but at the same time... They once had that 
uh, they once had access to both. Sure. Um. Wait. The, uh, Sunshine, actually. Yes. Yep. Yes. It actually has both. Yeah, it has two different full meals, actually. But they're both, they're, they're, they're both marked, too, unfortunately. And I believe there's one stock swap, unfortunately, it's unplayable as fuck, though. I can't remember who's on it, but. I'm trying to think. Uh, uh no. Uh, no. Uh, 765 doesn't. It only has the stock swap event. Oh shit, you are right. You can count the amount of amount of like, sets that have like, 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 full meals are very, very few and far in between, period. They're more likely to give you the stock swap over the Fumio. Right. Doesn't uh, SAO have Fumio? Where? I don't remember a Fumio in, uh, in Cell. Hmm. If... Or, 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 or Kipo? You're funny. And man, Kipo has 1,200 fucking cards, man. And Full Mill ain't one of them. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm actually, having, I'm actually having like 1,200 cards and Full Mill ain't one of them. Wow. It has Stock Swap, right? Uh, I, I feel it should. But maybe even then, I'm not so sure. Dang, 1200 cards in Stock Swap Blue Wheel ate two of them. Can we have to remember that Keeple was. It wasn't until more recently that Keeple was made for finishing rather than outliving. True. Keeple has, has many other broken cards. Like, uh, uh yeah. Doesn't, doesn't Fate? Can't Fate do it? I'm trying to remember what Fumio's in Fate. Okay. Because we both can. Cause I we we know we know it has stock swap gay bulges on it. Right, but I don't remember a Fumio. I really don't. Hmm. Okay. I'll have to ask. I'll have to ask our fate expert. If Fumio is is it fate? Or you know, uh, I, I could literally try to do it right now since I'm already on the uh up, I'm already on the freaking uh website. Okay, and... I can just look up every card that has the full meal text on it. And, oh, by the way, I'm giving, I'm give I'm giving our Fumio Mark II here the playable. The regular playable or playable minus, or? Huh? You cut off. Playable plus, the Sparkle Doge. Ooh. Hey, man, it's fucking Fumio. It helps me kill my opponent. All right. So I guess, uh, we'll be, all right, let's, let's... What the... Did they what? change the phrasing in between these cards? They shouldn't have. Because when I looked up the text... Oh, I know, no, I know what happened. They, they, they... Oh! Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Apocrypha has a Fumio Mark uh, 2. But, it, but it's, 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 it's unplayable because it's, it, doesn't have, it doesn't have serving or master traits. Right. So, uh, yeah. Sakura Tyson has, um, yeah, Sakura Tyson has, uh, a Fumio Mark, uh, 2. I believe Sakura Tyson also has a stock swap, so that's one of the sets that has both. Alright, uh, Summer Pockets. Ha oh, yeah, and Summer Pockets also has stock swap. Alright, so we, we reached the Magic 5. But it's on a combo though, so the stock swap's on a combo. Oh, so it doesn't really count. It's right. module like Kudumi. It's like Kudumi except shittier. No. Oh no! Oh oh no! Data. I hope Data Bullet does not give. Bro, uh, Data Bullet. <laughs> Data Bullet. Data Bullet gives that gives that fucking whore of a set. Fumia. Oh, we we are fucked. GG. GG while well playing. <laughs> especially if it's on the event like this. Ugh. But holy shit oh. Well, thank you for thank you for tuning in, ladies and gentlemen. We're mm -hmm. sorry for <laughs> Well sorry about uh what happened earlier. But uh please please continue to watch. Make sure you get this make sure you get this video a like. 
comment, favorite, subscribe, ring that notification bell for, and select the all all notifications because this all help the YouTube algorithm. All right, and be sure to also support us over on our Patreon and buy us a cup of coffee to make sure that we are able to keep making these videos for you folks. And, and with, with that, we'll see you next time. Yep. Bye bye.